Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, you know, I've noticed it's relatively easy to love the people that you like, right? Uh, to love your friends, to love your family, well, most of your family, to, uh, to love the people who bless you. It's, it's, that's easy. Anybody can do that. But it's really difficult to love your enemies. Listen to Proverbs 24, verses 17 and 18. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls, and let not your heart be glad when he stumbles, lest the Lord see it and be displeased and turn away his anger from him. Now, you hear that and you're kind of going, no, when my enemy falls, when they stumble, I'm the one cheering them on. I'm the one going, yeah, they deserve it. Give it to them. Let them suffer. In other words, not only do we like to win, we like to gloat. And God says, don't do that. God says, have a different heart. Have a different heart like Jesus. In other words, God says, think love. Because in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus said, you've heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. In other words, if we're going to reflect the character of God, if we're going to you know, represent Jesus in this world, we have to figure out how to love our enemies. And that's hard. I mean, no one's pretending that that's easy to do, but this is the challenge, both from the wisdom of Proverbs and from the mouth of Jesus. And so I'm just going to challenge you, when the people who've hurt you, when the people that hate you are struggling, don't rejoice. Instead, if somebody's hurt you, you need to be praying for them. I know, you don't feel like praying for them. God gets that. This isn't about how you feel. This is about obedience to Jesus. So pray for them. In fact, keep praying for them. Pray that God would bless them and heal them and show his love to them and reveal himself to them so that they can experience that life-changing relationship that you've had. And pray for them until you're not angry at them anymore. Pray for them until you're free of that bitterness that can ruin your life. I know the world says, hold on to it and you'll feel better, but that's not true. Revenge is not sweet. Revenge costs you. And uh, according to Proverbs, we'll even open the door for God to bless them instead of blessing you. So uh, pray for them until the anger goes away. And here's what I promise you. God will see that and he will bless you because you are reflecting his heart and not your own. So trust God because that's his heart to bless people, even people who hurt us. So listen to it again. Don't rejoice when your enemy falls and let not your heart be glad when he stumbles, lest the Lord see it and be displeased and turn away his anger from your enemy. Now, I hope that resonates with your soul and I hope that you will pray for your enemies and forgive because that's what's going to bless you and I pray that this has blessed you. Have a great day, Calvary.